Well, I suddenly came in need of a boring bar. I broke a carbide one and needed to finish up a project, so I needed to make a boring bar uh, that I could put either in my boring head or in my quick change tool post in my lathe. This is what I came up with. I've seen you know ones like this. I'm sure you have too on the internet. So I took a piece of this uh, steel. This is a whole rod off of a uh, garage door opener that I got from my mother years ago. And uh, so I took a piece of that and turned it down to three quarter and then put it in the mill and made these holes in it. So uh, let me show you how all that went. All right, I got a piece of stock, th our three quarter inch stock here. And I've got a, a 30 degree angle right here and a 15 degree angle that I'm adding together to make 45. Let's stick those in the vise. And then I've got an angle block that I'm going to use to hold that rod. Got it mounted in the vise at a 45 degree angle. And uh, I'm going to get it centered front to back. Spot drill it. I'm going to use a little bit bigger one. Alright, now I'm going to drill it out with a 3 16 first. change that bit out. We're using a letter T to fit our bit. It's just a little bit bigger than our bit. Well, we're going to have to spot drill it a little bigger. Got it mounted in the vise now in a in a collet holder, which is really what I should have done originally. But uh, I got it lined up in there and, and uh, got it held at a 45 degree angle to our other cut. So now we should be 90 degrees off of that other drilled hole. So we're going to put a set screw in here. First, though, I want to take this end mill and uh, mill a flat on the end. I think that'll give us a big enough flat to put our uh, set screw in. We're going to use a 5 16 24 set screw. All right, let me get set up to do that. All right, I got to set up to drill this hole. Huh. Actually, I want to come back a little bit more this way. I want to try to stay out of this hole on the end if I can. Okay, we need a letter I drill bit. I've got it sitting here ready. Just gotta crank this down and give us a little more room. Okay. 
All right, now we'll get set up to tap that hole. We're now set up to tap this hole. We're gonna put a little bit of tapping fluid on here. Line it up. All right, I think we're through. All right, let's get it put together. All right, here's our parts. This is a tool bit. I just modified it just a little bit um, to match these angles. All right, we're gonna put our set screw in there and put that bit in there. Have it stick proud of the end just a little bit. And that set screw will kind of square this up. Oops, got a little bit more. Kind of drew it up in there. And tighten that down. Okay, hopefully that will work really well. All right, I think that's done. Thanks for watching.